Welcome to King Carden. So we've come further north up the coast. We hope you enjoyed part one. We're doing part two today of exploring the west coast of Ontario along the shores of Lake Huron. And we're here in beautiful King Carden to start today. We're at the beach right now at Station Beach and we're doing a quick peek here and then we need to go and find some lunch. We do and it's a beautiful day. It's like full sun, oh. 18 degrees, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so we'll see if the lake is a little quieter than yesterday. It was extremely windy <laughs> was and a little wild yesterday. Uh, so yeah, let's head out. We haven't seen it yet either. So the beach here at King Carden is a mix of sand and smaller pebbles. pebbles. Yeah. Um, not the big rocks like we saw yesterday when we were in Godrich. Wow, is it ever spectacular. And that's here at Station Beach. I believe there's another beach in town. We'll try to find it. Because sometimes just where the beaches sit on the angle of the lake can change. Um, what the sand or the beach itself is like. Um, it looks like they have the accessibility mats as well. So this is Station Beach, King Card. Okay, so uh, my friend Google just helped us out here. So the Kincardine Lighthouse was built in 18 in 1881. Um, it's 24.4 meters tall um, and is now part of the Kincardine Yacht Club and Museum. And it's open for tours um, in July and August. We're here um, at the end of May, so no tour uh, for us kind of thing, but uh, very nice and Check nice little in. yacht club here and uh, very nice marina. All right. Okay, so I think we're gonna try to find a place for lunch because we haven't even eaten our breakfast yet. And there should be a lovely place to eat, I'm sure, in King Card. We haven't really, I've, I've seen one place that looks like it at least has a view. There does not appear to be a lot, um, again, of lakeside eating yeah, what's, places. What, what, what's up with that? We struggle to find a place on the water. I think it's all been uh, taken by either residential or you know like marina and public parks and that kind of land mm -hmm. and yeah the restaurants just don't have a, a spot by the water <laughs> if anybody knows of a great spot in southern ontario please drop a comment below because we would love to go there like on the water yes on the water because we've like... struggled in the other towns except for grand bend where really there was only you know one or two even there yeah um it just seems to be the way it is Anyway, we're going right. to go check it out, see what we find, and see what else we can find here in King Carden. All right. Well, I got myself a burger. Good. We both have the same thing. It's the dill pickle burger um, without a bun and a little garden salad on the side. Looks delicious. Yeah, a little man. bit of garlic aioli on top. I think some provolone mm. cheese. Yes, and some kind of homemade dill slaw under this burger that they make at the Bruce. All right, let's eat. Just chilling. <laughs>
I've said it enough. The lake is so beautiful today. <laughs> and the sky is absolutely not a cloud in the sky. garden and it's just sort of at the end of lover's lane but check out the cannons so the really amazing thing that seems to be here in king garden is everywhere in town um, the beach has public access and once you're on the beach looks like you can walk for quite a distance and anyone whose property at least where we've walked is situated on the beach it's not right on the beach there's actually like a public walkway or a road between them and the beach making the public access to this beach on both sides of the marina and the pier that comes out in King Garden accessible to anyone and everyone to enjoy. So really awesome part about King Garden. You have no blocked beach access, there's so much access. And free parking, which is yeah. really nice. I think, yeah. I don't know, maybe King Garden is uh, not got the hype of some of the other beach towns. It's not the perfect sandy beach. It certainly does seem just like a quieter, like shops. There does seem to be a lot of festivals here in the summer. There's a Scottish festival, there's a lighthouse festival. So yeah, we're here, Dunsmore Park is behind us. Um, there's also, it looks like a seasonal trailer park behind that. Kids play structures, public washrooms, lots of picnic tables, pavilions. Um, I don't see a snack bar or anything, but um, some green space up there. Right, so uh, lots of beach here in King Carden and- And I think we're gonna walk the beach back. Okay, so let's walk the beach back to uh, Sadie. So again, you can see it's a bit of a sandy pebble mix on this beach. It looks beautiful um, and super, tons of room. There seems to be tons of room. Not sure what it looks like come tourist season when the tourists roll in, but I have a feeling that King Carden is not as popular as places like Grand Bend um, and possibly Port Elgin where we're headed next. Um, again, people do love to flock towards those super sandy beaches and if you are looking for that to build sand castles, King Carden may not be your place, um, but I'm really liking it for a lot of other things right now. And it's also a big enough town, it's got all the things you need, Canadian Tire, big grocery store, you know, garages, all the things you find in a town with a little bit more population. You know, your Mark's Work Warehouse, and lots and lots of food options. It's not as maybe popular as Grand Bend, but I really, really like this beach. I like this I, beach too. Like, I like the pebbled and sand beach. And Look at these rocks here too that we're passing. Oh. They're so beautiful. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, you definitely get some sort of more rustic beaches yeah. along the shores of Lake Huron, but I love that mix. I love the mix of pristine sand but then these more rustic, rocky, for sure. tons of driftwood, because they're very, very naturally beautiful. Mm -hmm. And just, I don't know, more character than just straight up sand. For sure. Like these beautiful pieces of driftwood all along, like entire trees that have been in the water for so many years until they reach the shore and they're smooth. They're just so cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the residents that yeah. build these because yeah. that wouldn't be to Ontario code. <laughs> <laughs> like so many spots to sit down on these beautiful rocks. And... 
Okay, so we really need to get going. It's actually really hard to pull ourselves away from this beach. It's beautiful. We just want to walk it and enjoy a few more things in the town. But we have a really hard job today, which is to try and hit two more towns. <laughs> so we got to go. All right. So we're leaving King Carden. Hope you enjoy and hope you come explore this beautiful town someday. We're out of here. to Port, Port Elgin. Elgin. So we're down here. We've hit the first beach along the way, which is Goebbels Grove, I believe they call it. We're gonna take you up to the main beach after, but this is sort of on the south edge of Port Elgin. But it looks like a great beach. They obviously just groomed it. Yeah, it's definitely been groomed. And like still very, very wide as you can see. Yeah, there's a kid's playground back there. There's also public washrooms, not anything in the way of a snack bar or at least there never was we will have a look again on the way out but this is definitely like a bring your own snacks and your piece from town so yeah um but great beach i love it again it's beautiful and well i think let's find the main beach let's do it all right here because we do want to get to Southampton as well yeah um, and really Port Elgin is for me anyway all about the beach if you have more fun things you like to do I totally get it let us know down in the comments there is a sogging river in this area as well for people who love to fish there is tons of fishing in the sogging river as far as places to stay there's tons of cottages and Airbnbs and little inns and there's also campgrounds around here. So there's McGregor Point Provincial Park. If you are a camper, we're not gonna be staying there this time. Hopefully we'll hit that up another time this year, but it is a beautiful and huge provincial park that is really not far from the town of Fort Elgin, just south of here. Let's wrap it up and yeah. uh, we'll catch you in Southampton. <laughs> Southampton. So we're at Dominion Lookout. There's very minimal parking down here. This comes, shoots right off the main street um, that goes through town. So this parking would fill up fast. I don't know where to tell you to go otherwise. Yeah, well there are washrooms. So yeah. we have washrooms right over there. And you can see where we're parked. And there's probably like maybe seven, uh, seven spots to park. So not a lot of uh, parking, but very nice beach. Apologize in advance for the uh, wind noise because it is quite windy. Um, and the beach here is very, very heavily. Like gravel almost. Like, almost though. like gravel, yeah. Yeah, I would call this like gravel. Yeah, I'll let you. It's like... This is about it for Southampton, but hope you enjoyed our little beach tour. Yeah, part two was good. Yeah. We hit six beach towns on the west coast, which was fantastic. Welcome, Welcome to, to Sabo Beach. beach.
1858. It's a Caesar bar, and I've got myself a flight of Caesars, so I'm gonna tell you what they are if I can remember. We've got the uh, beaner here, so it's got a lot of bean brine and stuff in it. The bacon bomb, so got a little slice of bacon, and there's some bacon garlic rimmer. This is tequila sunrise. It actually has tequila and orange juice in it. And this is the Caesar. It's got some pizza sauce, a little pizza bite, and a little uh, caprice, or what do you call that? Focaccini cheese or something. And the best part about it is the view of some of the beach. Okay, Mitch also got the flight. What are you trying first? Well, this is the beaner, I think, right? Yes. Alright. It is. Got a big fat bean in there. It's really good. Not too spicy. Beanie? Bean dry? Beanie, yes. I'm trying mine now, too. Because Mitch doesn't do it right, you have to lick the rim. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's really yummy. I just have to check this out. This is the full size bacon bomb. How is it, Scott? Fantastic. How many slices of bacon? Okay, he licked the rim. Yeah, How's really that good. Rim? How many slices of bacon you got on there? Well, I've already eaten one. So, so four? Yeah, we've got four. <laughs> Amazing. What the heck is this one? That's the pizza Caesar. Okay, I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Does it taste like pizza? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay, cool. What's the other one? I want to try this tequila sunrise, but we'll do this in a minute. This is weird because it's made with tequila and it has orange juice in it. I'm gonna do everything right, give it a little squirt. It's the only like non edible garnish, really. Okay, and I don't know what the rim is on this, but it looks very different. Oh. It tastes like no Caesar you've ever had before. You can taste that orange juice in it. I'm gonna stir it. What is this rimmer? Oh. Tequila! All right, which one are you doing, Jen? It's the Caesar, which is like pizza. Okay, we figured this rim out, which is some kind of Thai Aussie, they call it. So it's got like Thai spices in it. Oh, I like that one too. They're all so different. They really nailed it with all of them. All right, it's time for the bacon bomb. So, what do we have in the bacon bomb? So there's vodka, barbecue sauce, jalapeno, hot Tabasco, and Clamato. And the rimmer is? And the rimmer is uh, bacon garlic. Nice. And your garnish is? Well, we have a little bit of bacon and some kibasa and maybe celery, or maybe not. I don't right. sell in the mini. You have to tag us in our picture. Oh, that's really different. But really good. <laughs> so good. Fantastic. Don't worry, it's delicious. Love it. <laughs> Beach. This is actually sort of a surprise. We didn't expect to come here, but we were staying at a friend's campground and we got a DD actually. Yeah. We got a tour guide DD. So we came down here to check out Sobel um, and thought well, we got to take the opportunity to film. Absolutely. And this is probably my favorite beach out of, I think this is number seven that we've <laughs> yeah. done in the last couple of days. And this is my favorite. There is tons of like bars and restaurants right along the beach, which is great. We uh, visited two of them, yeah. um, which is great. And like the beach is very, you know, it's very expansive. 
Yeah, so it's a huge beach. It is actually technically seven kilometers of sand beach. And we are back to the beautiful yes. sand. So this is a highly rated beach in Ontario for good reason. Again, we still have the sunsets. If you can see behind us, the water is pretty blue beautiful. and turquoise and different colors today and beautiful, perfect sky. It's a very big beach, a long beach, and it's very much like that beach vibe yeah. town. Like yes. I would feel this is more younger crowd, um, high energy, yeah. probably a bit of a nightlife. Um, there's like attractions, like, like yeah. the aerial park. I'm not sure what happens there. It's not, again, we're at the beginning of the season, but this would be, if you're looking for beach fun, if you're looking for drinks and eats where yeah. you actually get views of the lake, yeah. this is top notch. Actually, yeah. Sobel comes in first place for having um, beach front bars and restaurants. For sure. No, this so is far, awesome. Sure. And this was the last one. And uh, it was just a surprise one. We weren't uh, planning on coming. And uh, someone just said, do you want to go to Sobel Beach? And we said, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. So happy that we had a couple hours here, but we're headed back to the campground now. So hope you've enjoyed our little beach tour. So I, we're actually done now, I think, right? We're done? We are actually done. Yeah. So if you, like the video, done. if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. A lot of cool stuff happening this summer. And uh, yeah, we're thank touring you. around in our van. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, Cheers. bye. bye.